What's up? It is Chris with Better Editor, and today we are talking merge clips in Adobe Premiere. That is taking a separate audio clip and a separate video clip and squeezing them together to make them love each other. Why that's useful, we'll talk about in a minute. Before we get there, I wanna talk about the raging coronavirus pandemic. As of right now, we have over 12 million cases worldwide with nearly a half a million deaths. A quarter of that's in the United States. So I'm doing my best to try to raise money from my local food bank to help the economic hardships that have been placed on people due to COVID-19. If you think you would like to help with that, please check out the VHS effects pack below and help me help our community. All right, buckle up, let's go. Merging clips inside of Adobe Premiere is a great way to keep your project organized. Let me show you what I mean. I've got a clip of an old TV with some static playing on it. But right now there's no sound associated with the clip. It's easy enough to come grab a sound effect and drag it into our sequence and get some noise. But these two clips still operate independently of each other. What would be nice is we could link them in the timeline by hitting Control L on the Better Editor keyboard. So now they at least move with each other in the sequence, but they're still from two separate clips. If I want to fix that and make a single clip, I can select both of them and drag them into my project panel. And this dialog box pops up saying merge clips. And we'll just stick with the old TV dash merged file name. And now we have a new clip inside of our project panel. If we double click on this and load it into our source monitor and then check the waveform, we can see that both clips have been combined. And let's go ahead and just drop this into our timeline. And there you go. Now this also works with dialog like I mentioned. I don't have an interview to show you, but we can use this fun UFO clip that I found. So in this case, we've got a guy that's getting out of his truck and he sees a UFO. I recorded some admittedly terrible ADR for this um, and chose my favorite take right here as the third take. Let's drop this into our timeline. And... I think I want him to start talking right about here. Well, this is what I call a close encounter. Okay, like I said, it's really bad. So, again, I'll select it, drag it into my project panel, and say OK when the window pops up. And if we look in our source monitor, we can see that the audio has been added to it, and we can drag it and drop it into our sequence. Nice, right? Now I want to show you one more way of also doing the same thing. So let's get rid of these. Come here. I'm going to pull the UFO sighting clip into my source monitor. So in here, I'm going to drag my playhead to about there and mark an endpoint. And then on my VO, I already have my endpoint marked. And with that done, I can select both of these clips, right click, and go to Merge Clips. And now I have a couple more options. I can choose to sync them by the endpoint, the outpoint, or the timecode. In this case, I'm going to do the endpoints. We'll say merged-tc for timecode and say OK. Now let's load this into the source monitor to see if it worked. And at first glance, it doesn't look like it worked. If we look at our original clip, my endpoint is marked right here. We're 16 frames into the clip. But if I load the merge clip into the monitor, it's starting right at the beginning, but the time code says 16. What does that mean? Well, if we drag this into a sequence, we'll see that the this sync looks right, but I'm missing the head of the clip. And that's just a quirk with Premiere. You can actually drag that clip back out and you're done. All right, those are merged clips. I hope that you can incorporate them into your workflow and that they'll make your life a little bit easier. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. And again, if you're interested in helping the Tarrant Area County Food Bank with their COVID-19 response efforts, please check out the VHS Effect Pack in the description below. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.